Hey guys, all right, well, let's go on with our next training video. And right now we are gonna go over all things party and creating orders, entering orders, deleting orders, adjusting orders, all things orders, right? All right, so let's start out with creating a party. Now, if you did not get flipped as a hostess, meaning that you purchased the $99 kit, this is the first thing that you want to do is create a launch party. So you have signed into your workstation. This is going to be what you, well, yours is going to look different when you're brand new, but you're going to go ahead and click over here on orders and you're going to create a party. All right, so I have actually created um, an example customer so that because it will show all the information and I don't want everybody's information being shown. So we're going to name our party um, Susie's Launch Party. You name it anything you want to, doesn't matter. Um, now, if this is going to be your party, you would click Use Hostess Information. If not, we're going to enter our guest and my guest is called example customer. Huh? Isn't that great? Okay. Um, <laughs> that way it doesn't show anybody's actual information. Okay. Oh, email is required. I didn't enter an email. Let's see. Um, we are going to use mine, which is fine. All right. Now this is going to be the first menu that you see in creating a party. You can customize this as much or as little as you want. My personal opinion is you should customize as much as you can because with Sensi, you're ultimately selling yourself as a host, as excuse me, as a consultant, right? Your customer service, the way you treat your customers, how you do for them, you are selling yourself. Sensi is going to sell itself, but people can go anywhere they want to get Sensi. So you need to make an impression on why should they be buying from you. So you can right here, give a title if you want to. Let's see. Welcome to my lunch party. And in here, you can say anything you want in the body, same way. I always say something about, make sure that you check out our clearance and our bundle and save options located under the specials tab. Also, we have several licensed products that, is lo that are located under our collections tab. Unfortunately, those two tabs aren't really going to stick out to our customers and they wouldn't know where to find those items. So I always make sure to say something about that right here. The next thing is using your own image or default image. When we're talking about the default image, that's what they're going to see when they click on the link and when you post anything as far as um, a link, say on Facebook or what have you. So you can upload your own image if you want to here. If you are good, you can make one in Canva. You can go to snappa.com. I mean, there's several ways that you can make your own image. You could just add another, some random image if you want to. Um, and here you would upload that here, or you could also embed a video. All right, next thing is a featured product. So you can see right here that the default products are these items right here. Since he will give a description about them, I almost always choose feature um, my featured products. I always do, excuse me, sorry. Well, you can do it this way, counter clean. Three counter cleaners. Of course, I'm going to do a bundle and save because you want to upsell that way. And why do I love it? Um, I will also always do whatever the um, charitable giving warmer is at the time because I personally love the charitable giving warmer and I'll always say something about it. Love is all you need is our particular warmer right now. Say something about it. Um, and then you can, I don't know, let's add a diffuser just for the fun of it. All right. And you can say something about it there. Oh, it's going to require it. I'm so sorry. I forgot that. So we're just going to love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to choose an end date. Now, doesn't matter what date that you choose because you can always change it. You do want to make sure that you choose it far out enough that it doesn't end on you as far as the link goes. If I choose tomorrow, that link is no longer going to be good online. However, I can still enter orders manually. Um, but you can actually leave a party open for up to 90 days. So we're just going to choose a couple weeks out. There we go. Continue. And that's that. We have our copy, our link that we can copy. Um, we can go straight to party orders or we can choose I'm done for now. We're going to go ahead and go to party orders um, from there. Now, 
I showed you how you can do it from there, but let's say you're coming back in, you sign on to your um, dashboard and you need to look at some information on the party. So you are gonna go to open orders and we're gonna find Susie's launch party right here, all right? Now to edit orders and add, we wanna add, let's see, add consultant as a guest so that we have my name and um, we already have the hostess as a guest. So right now you see no PRV, you see nothing happening, you see no host credits, no half price, no nothing because there's nothing in here, right? So Michelle's going to get Stargaze because we just wanna hurry up and get some stuff in here that we can, we're gonna get two Stargazes. All right, so we are at $300 now. Our host is actually gonna buy some of her own as well. She's also gonna buy Stargaze just because it helps us to hurry up and get to where we need to be. <laughs> okay, $600. Um, let's see, actually we can probably take off one of these. Nope, sure can't. We wanna to get to 500. Okay, now just for FYI, your party has to be a minimum of $200 for it to even give you these options, okay? At $200, they get 10% of their order, so that's $20 in free product, they get one half off. Once they hit 350, you have two half offs and you have $35 in free credit, still at 10%. The minute that you hit 500, you have 15% in credit, so you have $75 in free credit and three half offs. You also get free shipping once you hit $500 on your party. Now, that also includes any online orders that you might have. And we'll go over that in a little bit. I don't have any online orders for this um, order, obviously. Um, if your party is between $200 and $499.99, each individual customer is paying 5% of their total for shipping, which is $1.50 for every $30 that they spend. So it's really not that much at all. Um, but that is the shipping you now get 500, you get free shipping at 500. Okay, so now we have our party in, we have all the different customers that we have. Obviously you're probably gonna have more than this. You're gonna continue to add another customer. Um, if you're adding somebody brand new, we'll go ahead and try that. We'll do John Doe create new customer. His phone number is, of course, 555. His email, oh, area code does not exist. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and do 209 area code and we will do the four southerns just because it's mine. Now, every single time you have a customer, you don't technically have to enter an email. Actually, I'm not going to just because it'll add it and again to my email. But every single time you have a brand new customer, you get their phone number and email. You explain to them, I need your customer information, which includes your phone number and your email. That way that you will have tracking information and we can contact you if anything goes wrong with your order or we have any questions at all. And you always want to enroll them in the newsletter. Always, now obviously you'd have to have an email in there. Always, always, always automatically enroll them in the newsletter, but you do have to pick this. Now, if it's somebody that you know is interested in hosting a party, go ahead and click that. Or being a consultant, go ahead and click that as well. Um, if this person says, yes, can you please direct ship it to me? We're gonna go ahead and do that. So it tells you extra shipping will be applied. Now, if it's direct shipped, whether you enter it manually or they enter it on the website, they're going to pay full shipping, okay? So I'm gonna have to enter an email for that. Let's see. I'll go ahead, that's fine, because I'm gonna close it anyway. Phone number again. And they're gonna ask for a street address. I love Cincy Way in Atwater, California. All right. Permanent shipping address. Save and add products to cart. Use the address I entered. Now, I'm just saying that because I don't want them to change change the address to something else. Okay, so this shows you right here. Now this is gonna be a direct ship. So John Doe, excuse me, let me see the wilderness. I don't even think that one's, nope. John Doe wants, 
Love is all you need, warmer. It's on back order, but that's fine. He still wants it. Okay. When you go to give John Doe his total, you can click right here, estimate total with tax and shipping. Because it is being direct shipped, he is getting charged $8. So your shipping, when it's direct shipped, whether that's your website or through a manual order, is $8 for anything up to $79.99. $80 and above, it's 10% of your order. Okay, so we have John Doe, we have Michelle, and we have um, our example customer here. Now you always wanna make sure when you go to your host credits, make sure that you click on this tab. It's easy sometimes, believe it or not, to just start searching for a product right here, and next thing you know, you've added it to their retail that's charging them instead of what they're getting for free. Okay. Again, as you notice, um, these items did not show up until we had a qualifying party. So you have three half off items. Let's talk about half off items really quick. What can be used as a half off item? You can add anything as a half off item except for anything on clearance, nothing that is licensed. So no Disney, no MLB, no NFL, no charitable giving, none, nothing that is licensed can go towards a half off item. Also, anything that is $80 or more, and right now we only have two items that are $80 or more, those will require two half off items. So if I had a party of only 200, they would not be able to get, say, a diffuser for half off or even a diffuser base for half off. So if somebody really wants a diffuser and they want to get it half off, they have to have at least $350 in their party to get a diffuser half off because that's when they get two half off items. So let's say we're going to get the Awaken. Oh my goodness. Diffuser. Apparently I spelled. Uh oh. Okay. Now this will happen. This is really weird when this happens. Watch. If I refresh my screen, it's going to say I'm locked out. If that happens to you and you're looking for something and you know you're spelling it right, it's because it like logged you out and you have to log back in. So anyway, <laughs> that happens kind of often. It's really weird. Um, all right, so back over here to our half off items. I knew I spelled it right. So notice we do not have item numbers. We have to type it in by the name of the product. So the Awaken Diffuser, not just the shade, this will be the shade, the top only, okay? This is the entire diffuser, which means the base and the shade. We want that half off. It's going to take up two of our half off items, right? And now we have that for $70. Okay, and then we're going to use whatever else we can use. Um, you can do six packs of wax. It doesn't have to be one bar. You can, you can use your half off items on some of your bundle and saves. So let's do a Sensi system. Now, a Sensi, of course. And there we go, Sensi System. Now, these are bundle and saves. There is a bundle and save called the Perfect Sensi. Those are two warmers and six bars of wax. Those are already pretty deeply discounted, so you cannot use that on a half off. However, you can use any of the Sensi System bundle and saves. So we're gonna choose this bundle and save right here. Notice this says $20 warmer, $25 warmer, $35 or $30 warmer. So you need to make sure that you're checking the right warmer, you're getting the right bundle for the correct warmer. If I'm trying to buy the Stargaze warmer under a $30 bundle right here, it's obviously not going to even show up. So we're going to choose the $40 warmer package. And then here you're going to choose whichever. Now, if you know the name of it, you could just type it up here. If you're not sure um, what it is, so we're just going to say the olive bucket. Now you're, it's telling you three remaining bars. So select a bar. Now I could type it out and I could say I want Blue Grotto or again, same thing. I could pull down, oh, I don't know which one I want, but I know I like bakery, even though I don't like bakery. Let's see. I like citrus. So I'm going to add, oh, Cocoa Lime is so good. Squeeze the Day is my favorite. Okay. Now we're going to save and add bundle, right? We got that whole thing. So we got a $40 warmer and three bars of wax for $27.50. Yay. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now you can do the same thing. For your free credits, you can do a bundle and save for your free credits, or you could even do a shade 
If you already have a diffuser and you just want to swap out the shade, I could get just the shade, right? I can add the shade because I want that diffuser, but I want two different shades. Now I want to get a six pack of wax for free. Six pack of wax is $30. I only have $27.50 left. That's okay. It's going to still let me get it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to show me right here. I'm just going to owe $2.50. Okay. So you can go over the amount um, of what you get for free credit. No problem. Then when you look in the customer's cart, you will see their total. Now, our customer here, under retail, you will see she has two diffusers, but she's getting a second, diff a third diffuser for half off. She's getting this Scentsy system right here for $27.50, and she's getting this shade right here for free. And then she's getting a six pack of bars for $2.50, okay? Now, you can let her know $441.05 is her total, and she's getting free shipping because we're at a $500 party. All right. Now, with every single party that you have, you have what we call a perpetual party reward. A perpetual party reward is a half off item that you can use for any single thing you want. You might have done a Facebook party and you said, hey, anybody that spends $50 or more, we're going to do a drawing for um, a half off item. And then say Michelle won the half off item. So I can come up here and I can apply this perpetual party reward to Michelle. And then she wants, um, what does she want? She wants some kind of warmer. <laughs> Um, she wants the pug warmer for half off. Okay. Now that is going to apply that pug warmer at half off 200, excuse me, $22.50 to her party, to her total. So that's automatically going to be placed into her cart. Now, if you don't want to give it to Michelle because you want to keep it for yourself, which is what I do a lot of times because a lot of my customers don't do parties. They just order. And so I put all of their orders into one party. Okay. So as a hostess now, I already added myself as a hostess. So again, if you didn't add yourself to a, as a, excuse me, I already added myself as a customer. If you did not add yourself as a customer, you would have to add yourself as a customer at this point because the host is somebody else, right? Now, if you are the host, you don't have to add yourself because you're already the customer. If you're not the host, you add yourself as a customer, and then I apply that same perpetual party reward um, to me. You always, always, always want to use this perpetual party reward. Do not forget to use it because once you close out your party, it's gone. You have no option of going back. You can't save them up for later. <laughs> that's it. Once you close it, that's it. Um, as a consultant, one of the biggest things I use it for is wax. I use it all the time for... Um, scent circles, but I always do the six pack. Why? Because I want stuff that I can give away. Um, you can use it for light bulbs. Use it for light bulbs. Um, you can get a three pack for $2.50. And then, hey, when your customers run out of light bulbs, you say, hey, I got you. Don't worry about it, right? I got, I got a light bulb for you. All right. So that is the basics of how you would enter a party. Again, we don't use item numbers. You just have to search under the title and you add it that way. Anytime you are doing a bundle and save, um, you type in six, hit the space bar, everything come, will come up that you can get six of, okay? Um, if you type in three, because you're doing the bundle and save of three, everything you can get three of will also come up. One thing you also want to do, um, I want to do it at least one, every single time I enter a party, I will do one, Type in customer order bags. Actually, if you're the host, if you're not the hostess, I, I, you would put it under yours, right? You would just put it under yours right here because you don't want to charge your customer 
for the bags, but $1 and you get 10 bags and they're big bags. Now they're not labeled. They're not branded Scentsy, but that's okay. They don't have to be branded Scentsy. To be honest with you, the ones that are branded Scentsy to get one big enough to fit our big warmers, they're just too expensive. Get one of those, get some cute stickers, put some cute confetti in the bottom of it, something to make it look really cute if you want to, throw a couple pieces of candy in it if you want to, do a handwritten note, you're done, right? So again, you type in the word customer and it will come, oops, and it will come up. Customer order bags right there. $1 and you get 10 of them. 10, 10, 10. Awesome. All right. Now, when you go to check out, go check out. Um, it's telling us that John Doe is going to get his ship directly to him. You can also do an economy shipping, which just takes a little bit longer and they only have to pay $6. Um, the rest of it is going to be coming to me, or you could have chosen to ship it directly to your, if your um, hostess is out of state or out of town, then yes, you're going to be shipping everything to her. I'm going to click continue. Now here, if everybody has paid you separately, whether that's they're giving you credit card maybe. I don't know if you wanna take checks, that's up to you. Michelle's gonna pay with her credit card. So I'm gonna click on Michelle. I'm gonna enter all of her credit card information and right here it says 35205 and I'm going to hit, this will then light up after I enter in credit card information. And this will light up and then I can hit add payment, okay? What if I told Michelle, hey, if you spend $300, I will take you know 20 bucks off of your order for you. So Michelle spent $300. Three, so you say, okay, your total is $352.05, but I'm going to take $20 off. So that makes it $332.05. So now you enter in her information. You come down here and you say, I want to do $332.05. And then you hit add payment. And then when you come back up here, it will show a $20 balance for Michelle. You can pay however you need to pay for each individual. Honestly, half the time, everybody Venmo's me. So I'm making one payment, which is nicer anyway, but um, they Venmo me, I put it to my account and I pay. That's how I do it. Um, so that's how you could give somebody a discount or you can you know, say, hey, if you order this warmer, everybody that orders this warmer, something I normally do with my, um, charitable giving is everybody that orders this warmer is going to get a, a bar of wax for me. So I tell them how much their warmer is. And again, I only charge their card or whatever it is for the amount of the warmer. The difference for the bar that I'm adding is going to be charged to me later. So it would show the difference up here of $20. Um, and then I would process the rest. You can pay with PayPal. You can use your pay portal. If they have a gift certificate, you would enter here. If you had any product credit, you would enter here. I've already spent all mine. So anyway, that is how you enter an, art, an order. Those are the um, items that I can think of about processing an order. If you ever need to edit anything at all, you can go right into the edit. Um, again, you'd go into orders. You would just go into edit and then edit details if you needed to change anything. If you needed to change the name, if you need to change the date, you're just gonna go through all of these steps again. Um, actually back here, let's see, right here, this is where you can choose, do I want it to go to the hostess? And then you would make sure that her information is here or is it going to the consultant temporary address um there is a time you would use that and i will do another video about when you do that um if they're like hey i'm going to be out of town can you send it to this address you could do that um i've never had that happen usually we're going to use that if we're flipping a party to someone who is or not flipping a party but adding a um a hostess kit to somebody who is not the hostess, but that's a whole nother video. You can even change the host if you need to right here. All right. So that is it as far as entering orders, having a party. You can have as many parties as you want, as you can see. Um, at any time, you can delete a party. Um, you can just copy the URL if you need to save it right here. Now, one thing I do want to show you really fast. Now, I this is another video 
that I started and then I changed my mind. So I actually can go ahead and you can actually delete some of these if need be. Like you can always go right here, delete guest. Um, okay, so I want you to see something here. This party has an online order. This online order, it shows you right here, the PRV is $39, okay? When you look under the party summary, you see the host base is 509, but you see the PRV is 478.65. Why is that a difference? That's different because every purchase that is done through online, the PRV is just going to show separately. It's not separate, it's just going to show separately on your party. So this PRV is the difference, that, that $39 is the difference between your 509 and your 478.65. Um, the reason why it's different is because say I start a party on the 27th, but I'm not of some random month, but I'm not closing it until the 10th of the following month. When you have an online party, or excuse me, when you have an online order connected to a party, those orders process right away and they ship right away. They do not wait for the party to close for you to, um, for, for them to process that order, okay? Um, so they're gonna go ahead and process that. That's gonna show right away. Anything that's a manual order like this here, these are not going to ship or process at all until you close the party. So if I'm not closing the party until the next month, those PRVs are paid separately. So anything that was purchased online uh, this month, say July 27th, um, they purchased online July 27th, that goes towards July. But if I don't close this until August 10th, none of these are going to get paid to me. These manual orders don't get paid to me until I close it in August. So even though the host gets the host credit, right? They get the same amount of credit no matter when the purchase was. The host base is the number that you care about, that $509. That's the number that's going to determine how much free credit they get and how many half off items they get. But now let me show you this because I actually don't need any of these things on here. I was doing this as a, um, just as an example party. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this. By the way, you can always add anything from your consultant store to a party, as long as it doesn't have to be personalized. If you want um, testers or um, you want extra catalogs, you add them to a party and then you don't have to pay the shipping or you don't have to pay at least as much shipping, right? All right, so now let's go back to orders. Let's go back to open orders. Let's go back to Debbie's party. Um, oh, it's not gonna show it right now. <laughs> okay, well, let's try, no, that one doesn't have one. Hmm. Okay, normally this would show zero. <laughs> this would show zero out here, right here. This is the one I just um, edited, but because I just edited, it's not really showing it. It would show zero and you would go like this show zero, you would go, oh wow, there's nothing there. But there actually would be because you have your online. So it's just that you can't see the online portion of it from out here. We can use this one, for example. This says $62. See how this says $62? But the host base is 288. Well, that's because I have some stuff right there in a cart. I have some stuff right here in a cart. But she has $278 um, MPRV on just online orders, right? So these are all the different online orders. Um, so yeah, so if there was nothing in this cart, if I didn't have this customer and there was nothing in this cart, it would show zero on the outside, but you can see how it shows 62 right here. But when I click into it, it's actually 288. So you won't know what the online base is until you click into the party. 
if that makes sense. You're going to have to click into the party. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful as far as how to enter orders. Um, any of questions that you might have, if you have more questions, get with your sponsor and ask your sponsor. Um, always check YouTube, always check the workstation. You have some amazing, amazing resources out there. And I'm about to do a video just on resources. So make sure you check that out. Um, and I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day and we will talk again soon. Bye-bye.